Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Welcome back to my channel. I've been holding off on this video because at first I was feeling very embarrassed and ashamed of like this Bartholins is happening to me. There's so many assumptions that one can make of me because of this sister whatever it is happening to me so that's why i felt very ashamed but i realized that i'm none of those assumptions like they're just assumptions and women's health is so much more complicated and there's a lot of women that need support so that's why i made this video because i want to help women out there like me that are like suffering from this problem and to know that like you're not alone you know you did nothing wrong for this to happen to you because it's just crazy. So the background story behind it, back in December of 2020, I started feeling like this stinging pain when I would wipe down there. And like, I didn't really know what it was or like, you know, I didn't inspect it, you know. <laughs> so I didn't even feel like I needed to go to the doctor either. Cause I'm like, they're going to give me medication. I don't want medication. I'm just going to deal with it, whatever. I carried on with my life, going to the gym, you know, doing my normal things. And I felt like a little bump. Hmm wonder what this bump is still not gonna go to the doctor so i still didn't go i just dealt with it two weeks went by it was getting a little bigger but i'm like you know what it's okay we're fine i'm still going to the gym like life hasn't changed for me three weeks in with this thing it started hurting significantly like i was literally walking like this i couldn't go to the gym i was like i've had it i can't go to the gym i can't walk and it hurts for me to sleep i need to like fold up a blanket and put it in between my legs because it hurt that much to sleep like i couldn't close my legs properly and I couldn't even wipe properly anymore. I literally had to like pat to wipe. It was really bad. So I tried this. <laughs> this is really funny. I tried this turmeric coconut oil paste that I read online. Someone tried it and it worked for them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. I tried it. Not a good idea. Do not do that. It's just, it's messy. You know, you wake up with stains, yellow stains down there on your skin not worth it so then that same day i was like i'm just gonna go to the doctor i'm gonna go to the doctor i don't care if i have turmeric stains all over i'm just gonna go it was a weekend it was a saturday for some reason that clinic like even if you make an appointment there's no point in making an appointment because it's just first come first serve so i don't even know why they offer appointments so i walked in 10 30 a.m excruciating pain i can't sit properly i have to like sit to the side and stuff like that yeah i couldn't i could barely walk i had to take a cab there it was it was really bad and i was really pissed off because i knew i was gonna have to wait like i've been to that clinic before yeah two hours in i'm still waiting they still haven't checked for my vitals so i'm like my god okay whatever by 2 30 p.m I've kind of had it. So I went to the receptionist and I'm like, hey, I'm in pain. I'm in a lot of pain. I need help like right now. And she's like, I'm gonna have to wait. And I'm like, okay. Finally, that, me complaining, kind of helped them move faster because I went to get my vitals checked. Then two hours later, 4.30 comes along and I finally see the doctor. And I'm like, praise the Lord. Like, thank God. Finally see the doctor and she's like, oh, you have a cyst. It's an abscess now though. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I just need help. Whatever it is, just please help me. And then she starts asking me, she's like, do you eat sugary foods? I'm like, no. She's like, do you use any scented feminine products? I'm like, no. Do you wax or shave often? And I'm like, not really. Like, you know, not that much. She's like, do you use like scented douching products? I'm like, no. I don't do that. And it's funny because like two years ago, I used to do all of that stuff. It wouldn't make sense for that to happen to me two years ago. Like I would eat more sugary um, foods, cheese danishes, like so many other things. And also I was so stressed back then when I was doing all that other stuff. I'm like, it would have totally made sense for this to happen to me back then. So I was telling her, no, no, no. Like I don't do any of that stuff. She's like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah. So she couldn't tell me the reason this happened to me. Which is even more frustrating because it's kind of like I have this thing that don't know how it happened, don't know why I have it. You know what I mean? Like when you can't find a reason for certain things happening to you, you just feel even more lost. <sighs> and then the doctor is like, oh, I'm going to get a male doctor to come and confirm that it's an abscess. The dude comes in. I'm like, you know what? I'm in pain. I'm not even embarrassed because this is probably like the 100th thing he's seen. You know what I mean? So... I'm like, whatever. This dude freaking squeezes it. And I'm like, ow. And then the doctor's like, she's in pain. You know, and I'm like, yeah, it hurts. So annoying, so annoying. 
whatever though. All the doctor told me was, you know, give it some steam, give it some heat. She did not prepare me properly and I feel a little upset that, you know, there wasn't enough preparation given to me because I kind of had to figure everything out myself. And no one prepared me for the pain I would go through that night. I, I swear, like, it was crazy. And she also did not tell me that it was a Bartholin cyst. All she said was, it was a cyst that's now an abscess. I'm like, okay. Didn't even give me the name. I figured out it was a Bartholin cyst by, you know, Google and YouTube. So later on that night, I can't take it anymore. Like, I just start bawling out crying because the pain is so bad. I literally cannot do anything. I can't walk anywhere. Like, I just can't do anything so I'm so I'm bawling my eyes out you know I've seen so many videos of women saying they got surgery they got their Bartholin gland removed and when you do that you basically take away the gland that makes that makes down their moist like crazy so I was so sad I'm like my life is over I'm never gonna be able to have a proper job anymore because I have this thing that's gonna happen five times in a row like these women were saying some women say they, they get it like all the time like it never goes away so I really thought my life was over you know yeah I really did I'm like I'm never gonna be able to go to the gym I'm never gonna be able to run I'm never gonna be able to do anything that I enjoy anymore because of this thing like okay I googled what the bath is the sits bath is what it's called I ended up using some bucket I had whatever boiling the water so I do about two sits baths and after that it just popped and I'm telling you, I felt immediate relief. That same night, I order a proper sits bath and then I order Prid. This little thing here, I ordered it because it's a draining solve. So, you know, you put that down there and it's supposed to help the abscess drain better. So, you know, pain is gone, feeling great. I'm so happy now. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, let's figure out how this thing can ever come back. A week later, it comes back. Then I got so sad again, I honestly questioning my whole life again. But I did do the sits bath and it really helped so much. Like at first it gets really swollen, but then it goes down and it feels so much better. And I kept asking around other women like, have you gone through this? Have you gone through this? And my aunt said she does get it and um, she gets it like every year. But she like pops it herself with a needle, which is insane. I don't know how she does that, but I was de I definitely did not do that. I was like, I'm not doing that. Like, that's crazy. I started really researching, like, okay, what can I really do for this not to come back again? And then I thought back to the turmeric paste. I was like, okay, turmeric. Why are they using turmeric? So then I started reading that turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. So I started taking turmeric, and I'm telling you, this thing has not come back for about for about two months already. And I am so happy, like... Turmeric has really saved my life. Like, I'd be getting this thing again and again and again and again. This is the one I take. This one here. It's a GNC brand. So I was taking one and then felt the stinging pain. So I, I had a feeling it was coming back. So then I started taking two. Even better, honestly. Like, it really helps me so much. And I'm going to take this for the rest of my life because I know it's never gonna come back if I keep taking turmeric. You really wanna make sure the turmeric you get has pepper in it. So the active ingredient in turmeric is curcumin and your body has a difficult time absorbing it, but paired with pepper in, it's like magic. So, so really make sure that the turmeric you're getting has pepper in it because then it's gonna work a million times better for you. And to know that you are not alone. There's so many women that go through this and do not speak of it because it's such a like, it's kind of like looked down upon for some reason, you know, having this problem that you don't even know why it happened. So don't feel ashamed. Seek help. Do your research. I'm so happy that I was looking into this because the doctors didn't tell me about taking turmeric or doing all these other things. Sometimes you really have to take your health into your own hands. And, and they told me to go back and do a checkup with them, but I didn't because I'm like, I literally spent six hours in that clinic that day. That's a literal shift. I'm not... I'm not gonna go back to that clinic. I mean, I'll go back for other reasons, but like for this, I'm not gonna go back. Like I think so far I have it under control. I'll make another video if it pops up again, but I kind of doubt it at this point. But, you know, let's pray it doesn't happen again. I also changed a few other things that were going on. So before I used to train without any underwear on, I know a lot of women do this too. Like it's just more comfortable not wearing the underwear. Like you can move easier. 
but if you really think about it sometimes you sit on the floor and you know you're using all the machines in the gym you're sitting on those machines and no matter how squat proof no matter how thick your leggings are they're still pretty thin it's kind of like not wearing an underwear with jeans on it's like i mean i don't i don't do that i don't do that but I've heard some people do that. So I started wearing underwear now and I feel like that really helps me. Like I just feel cleaner that way. Like knowing that I had that extra protective barrier to help me from bacteria. I also take frequent showers. So I take about two to three showers in the day. And I notice if I don't shower, it gets really irritated down there. So make sure you're taking frequent showers. And I also started putting my bar soap in its own separate container. So I put my bar soap in this container and I do not share my soap with anybody. Like, I'm really trying to prevent any bacteria from reaching anywhere. You know what I mean? I've also been trying to really look into my diet. Like, what processed foods am I eating? And although I do eat a mainly vegetarian diet, like, I really had to take a deep dive into what I was eating. I was really shocked that it could be diet. But, you know, I was like, whatever, I'm going to be open-minded about this. You know, I don't know why this happened. So I'm just going to do, like, as much research and be as as open-minded as I can possibly be to get the help that I need. The main processed food that I would eat like all the time was white rice. White rice is so refined and so processed. And I would eat it every day, probably like twice a day. So I started cutting back on that. And rice can cause inflammation, you know, it's a processed refined food. White bread, ciabatta bread, my favorite, can cause inflammation. So I've been really trying to cut back on all that stuff, even though I really do love it, but you know, for the sake of my pain, for the sake of living a better life, I've been trying to cut back on it. And I really don't know if all these things are the root cause of the Bartholin cyst, but you know, there's no real reason for the Bartholin cyst. Like there's no research that shows this is the cause. No one can say, no one knows why the Bartholin cyst even happens. The doctors can't explain it to me. No one knows why. And in women's health, like, it's such a like mysterious thing like there's not a lot of research on anything and like it's really frustrating you know because you'll be like why me you know why women but we can't think like that we can't think like that this is preventable we're gonna take care of this like you know we figure it out together i know a lot of women suffer in silence about this and um I didn't even want to tell anybody that I had this because I did feel really ashamed, but I really just want to help other women know that you're not alone, you're not dirty, you're not gross, don't let anyone judge you for this. It's something that happens, no one knows why, you know, it's not your fault. It's kind of like a similar thing with UTIs, there's so many reasons why you could probably get a UTI. It's really frustrating, so, you know, take a deep breath, you're gonna get over this, you're not alone, so many women don't speak of this because of the backlash they'll get. I hope you all enjoyed the video and found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe for more fitness and overall wellness videos. Take care everyone. Bye!